One reason many people choose to mix exclusively with headphones is because studio monitors are much more expensive, especially the really good ones. For example, when we compare the price of the Neumann KH120 studio monitors and the NDH30 headphones, we see that a pair of these studio monitors is three times the price a pair of these headphones. And this is just for a pair of studio monitors. What if you intend to work in an immersive format like Dolby Atmos? In that case, you might want to build a 7.1.4 system, which would include 11 studio monitors and an LFE. And a system like this would cost around 20 times the price of the Neumann headphones. I'll go ahead and say it again, and I cannot stress this enough. Both headphones and studio monitors are essential to a complete mixing system. And that's true for both stereo mixes and immersive mixes. Now, you don't have to have a complete system from day one of your career, but you can ideally work toward that goal over time. There are benefits to studio monitors that don't come through on headphones, and benefits to headphones that don't come through on studio monitors. Neumann has engineered their NDH headphones to have a similar voicing to their KH studio monitors, which helps maintain a somewhat consistent experience as you go back and forth between them. However, even though they're engineered to sound as close as possible, there are still differences thanks to the nature of listening on headphones versus studio monitors. One of the main differences has to do with panning. If I pan a track all the way to the left, it sounds different on headphones versus speakers. In headphones, the left side is completely isolated from the right side, and therefore sounds panned hard left sound as if they're coming from 90 degrees to your left. With studio monitors, not only is the left speaker only about 30 degrees to my left, but it's also not isolated from the right side. I still hear some of the left speaker in my right ear and vice versa when using monitors, and this is not the case when using headphones. Well, not typically. That's why I'm excited when I see plugins like Neumann Rhyme, which stands for Reference Immersive Monitoring Environment. Plugins like Rhyme are designed to make listening in headphones more like listening with studio monitors. For example, if I'm mixing in stereo, I just put the Rhyme plugin on a stereo bus and tell it I'm using the Neumann NDH30 headphones. This allows the plugin to account for their unique sonic characteristics. Now, when I engage Rhyme, it will make the experience of listening with headphones more similar to the experience of listening with speakers in a room. And the best part, it allows me to demonstrate this difference for you in this video, which was never possible before these types of plugins existed. Before we begin, make sure you're listening on headphones and remember, this plugin and the profiles it uses are made specifically for Neumann headphones, but I think the general experience should translate to you over YouTube, enough for you to get the point. So have a listen. For years, a technique called crossfeed has been used to simulate the speaker playback experience in headphones. Devices that utilize crossfeed send some of the left signal to the right ear with a small delay to account for the extra time it takes the sound from the left speaker to reach your right ear compared to your left ear. And they do the same exact thing for the other side. As I just explained, accounting for the crossfeed that occurs naturally when using studio monitors can make the stereo image in headphones more consistent with what you'd expect from a pair of studio monitors, especially from a width perspective. But there's another benefit if you listen closely. In headphones, something panned directly to the center will sound like it's coming from inside your head, while that same sound on speakers will seem to come from in front of you, offering a much more realistic listening experience. I can't really demonstrate this with real speakers in your room, because you may not have real speakers, but I can simulate it with Rhyme. I'm 
I'm not sure exactly how the Neumann engineers built the Ryan plugin, but I do know that they used a Neumann KU100 binaural microphone during the process. And this alone goes far beyond the traditional crossfeed method. See, in addition to harnessing the level difference and the timing difference between the left and right ear, the KU100 dummy head microphone also harnesses another very important localization cue. HRTF. HRTF stands for head related transfer function, which is the impact that a skull and outer ear have on sounds. And HRTF includes not only level and timing differences, but also spectral differences, or the EQ curve our heads create when sounds come from various directions. One of the key limitations of binaural audio today is that we all have different head and ear shapes, and therefore those EQ curves are different for all of us. The Neumann Rhyme plugin addresses this issue by offering a customizable HRTF model based on head circumference and the difference between your ears. I made a full video about binaural audio that you can find linked in the description below. It's one of my absolute favorite topics in audio. Binaural audio is useful for making stereo playback more realistic, but it's even more powerful in an immersive mixing environment. If I were working on an immersive mix in my DAW, I could add Rhyme to a multi-channel bus and select an immersive format within the plugin. Now I'm able to simulate mixing in a room with an immersive system, even though I'm just mixing in headphones. This is thanks to the localization cues captured by the KU100 microphone, interaural level differences, interaural timing differences, and HRTF. Listen to how realistic this sounds. Thank you. 